Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the tutorial. And uh, today we're kind of, we're doing something a little bit different. We're working inside of Photoshop. And uh, a lot of times from clients, I get items in Photoshop files and stuff where um, there's a lot of logos or icons and stuff, you know, Illustrator assets that need to be versioned out. And, you know, you're talking, you know, 10, 15 versions, you know, maybe it's inside of a template for broadcast. And um, you basically need to make these iterations, but you want to make it editable in case something changes. So let's go ahead and jump inside of uh, Photoshop here and I'll show you a way I like to tackle that with linked objects. All right, cool. So here we are inside of Photoshop and this is just a, a quick example. I'm just gonna use some photos that I have, uh, but this could pertain to anything where, you know, you have a client logo that needs to be in some photography that, that eventually you'll animate inside of After Effects. And uh, just let me show you a way to kind of keep elements all linked together and how you should build that to make it easy if you have you know, again, 10, 15 iterations that you're the one logo that might change affects everything. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and jump in. So what I'd have here is just a photo as an example, uh, just some waves going on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the Phoenix logo. And I'm just gonna kind of place this somewhere. Let's say, you know, we wanted it something kind of like that. Uh, let's see, and I'll put it underneath everything real fast. And you know, let's say, uh, let's kind of say that's, uh, that's, that's done. That's sort of the look you want to do and you think sir, everything's good to go. And now you begin the process of your, your template making, your iterations. So you want to make sure that this logo, if it needs a change, you can change it once and it affects all your Photoshop files. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll grab our Phoenix logo, which is, it is an Illustrator file. And I'm going to go ahead and convert to linked. And I'll go ahead and I'll save it in the area that I can remember it. These are the Illustrator files here that we'll uh, talk about in a second. But my original file is called Phoenix Example 01. And I'm going to save it as an Illustrator file, but I'm going to rename this to 01 Linked. Oops. And that way it makes a new copy and you know you're not affecting the original. So now let's say, uh, you know, we want to change the colors of this. Maybe we want to make it white or remove some of the text. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna double click this. And I also I also don't have Illustrator open right now. Uh, in CC 2017, at least for me, if I have Illustrator open, uh, double clicking it this way doesn't work. So right now, Illustrator is closed. So let's go ahead and with this selected, let's edit the contents. And this should uh, launch Illustrator and we'll, uh, we'll jump in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave uh, Illustrator's editing capabilities. I'm gonna select okay. And maybe for now, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll zoom out here. Let's grab this F and X. Maybe I don't want that there. Maybe I just kind of want the uh, the website in there. And, you know, let's go ahead and move it a little closer. And, you know, instead of black, maybe let's go ahead and make this something like a, I don't know, I'm just picking random colors, green. And I'll go ahead and save that. And we'll jump back into Photoshop. And there's our new logo. Now we can go ahead and still scale this if we want, position however we want to. But the essence is the content changed. Um, so whether this is scaled differently, it won't too matter because our content changed inside. So with that out of the way, let's let's kind of jump into another example of um, you know you've you're started to make your iterations with this way and kind of the power that you get. So uh, here I have a let's see let's make this. Uh, Make that 100%. So what I have here is just a bunch of photos with the Phoenix logo in, in random places, you know. Um, right, I mean, right now it's, you know, it's kind of sloppy, doesn't really mean anything. They're just sort of uh, placed on top of this uh, photography from a trip that I took. And it was, uh, it was Croatia, by the way. And if anyone's watching from Croatia, your country is beautiful. So let's say for some reason I didn't like this orange and I didn't like the text and all thing and everything else on this, we can kind of uh, go ahead and adjust that all uh, at once. So I'll go ahead and this is all referencing the same linked object. So let's go do, let's go ahead and do the same thing. So I want to edit the content here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to close out of Illustrator again so we can do it this way. And uh, instead of hitting the edit contents button, I'm going to click our layer this time. That'll uh, launch Illustrator and we can adjust it from there. Cool. So let's, uh, you know, let's get rid of this orange. Let's make everything real quick. Let's just, uh, Let's see, let's just go with a kind of a off-white maybe. We'll do that. I don't want this Phoenix in here, but our FNX text, maybe I want it later, so I'll just put it out of our art area there. And I'll just kind of uh, shift these two elements back into the middle. 
And let's go ahead and click Save or Control S to save that. And let's go back into Photoshop. And there we go. So our content has been uh, updated again. So let's go ahead and go through our different photos. And as we sort of go through these, you know, everything's updating on the fly. And you know, some of these uh, probably need a little love. Multiply probably doesn't work very well when you got it on uh, white there. And here's our fifth photo and that's updated as well. And again, we can do this as many times as we want. Maybe we actually like, you know, cause some of that got kind of hard to read. Let's go to like maybe, uh, let's just try like a burnt sort of red here. We'll save that. And there we go. Everything's uh, updating Photoshop. And if you had a ton of iterations and you're kind of dealing with the same logo and you know something's gonna change, you're, you know, you're good to go with this. And even if you don't wanna use this logo, anything you put in this Illustrator file, you know, inside this artboard is what's going to update inside of your Photoshop layers. So these are just a bunch of random shapes. You know, again, I'll save it. I know you guys get it by now, but uh, there we go. So now we have <laughs> our abstract uh, random shapes taken over there, so. So there we go, guys, just another uh, quick tutorial. I hope that helps out. Um, I, I seem to find myself having to do iterations and templates and stuff like that a lot when I want to animate in After Effects. And this is just one way to you know deal with one file, keep it organized, update it easily if you need to. And uh, yeah, so again, and if you're working inside of After Effects and you have those Illustrator files, your files are gonna update inside of After Effects as well. So super helpful. I hope that helps you guys out. Um, I'll see you guys again this uh, Super Bowl Sunday, this Sunday for a live stream before the game. And as always, Friday's uh, tutorial next week. So you know what? Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. So until then. <laughs> <laughs>